Hello and welcome to the show. I'm Jim Bellicera. I'm sitting here with Danny Pacheco. And uh, listen, I have had the distinct privilege and pleasure to uh, get to know you both by phone. And eventually I got to go out to North Carolina and meet you at a seminar that you did. And I got to tell you, man, I had no idea who I was in, in store to meet until I saw you on that stage. And you rocked the house, man. I was really proud of you. And then here you are today in California with us in the studio. And and I get the opportunity to actually get to know you a little bit better and, and allow you know, the audience to get to know you. And so this part of the interview, what we like to do is we like to find out what makes you tick. I mean, you're obviously the consummate entrepreneur. You're outgoing. You, you, you serve people. You love people. You help people. What caused you to be this way? This is a very exciting thing about you. Well, you know, Jim, uh, first and foremost, thank you very much for having me on the show. And um, I can't tell you how thrilled I am to be here because... Uh, just from uh, you know a little snapshot that I know of all of the different things that you've been involved in and all the successes that you've had, I've realized that I'm going to forget more about you're going to forget more about this industry than I'll ever learn. So thank you very much for having me on the show. And, and, and this is just like you know, I'm here with a rock star next to me. It's just so nerve wracking right now to be here. But uh, you know, thank you for those kind words. Um, you know what makes me tick? You know, I, I got six reasons, um, and they're um, Jasmine. Pedro, Daniela, Dulce, <laughs> David, and uh, Dianelli, Randy, Wawina, Leilani, Pacheco, which is the last edition of the group. And, and, and really, so you're that's a what. Busy guy. Well, yeah, I, you know, we, we don't have a TV at home. And, uh, no, I'm just kidding. No comment. <laughs> but really, what excites me is my family. Yeah. And ever since I was a little boy, you know, I always wanted to have a big family. And that was probably because I only grew up with, uh, you know, my sister and. I had a brother who passed away when I was five, so I really didn't get to know him. And so I always had that dream of having a large family. And uh, what I found is that that's what drives me. It, it really is all about my family. And, uh, you know, part of that is, you know, I really believe in this country. I really believe in the American dream, and I believe that it's still alive. Uh, it's just kind of been uh, kind of moved around and kind of hidden, and, but it's still there. And, you know, there's still, this is still the greatest, uh, uh, you know, it's still the land of opportunity. And, um, you know, I'm a product of, 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 of you know, my mom and my, and my dad who, you know, they were immigrants. They came over to, uh, to this country. They were looking for a better life uh, for, for my older sister. And eventually I was born here. And had they not uh, done that and, and searched for that opportunity, searched for that uh, better, better opportunity for their family, um, I wouldn't be here today. And so... Well, if I may, um, was your father or your mother an entrepreneur? Or a, a, because obviously that spirit comes from somewhere. I know you, you wanted something better for your family, and that's very noble, and obviously you're doing that. But did you know that you could be an entrepreneur? I mean, help me with that. Well, you know, absolutely. I mean, my dad, you know, he, he comes from a, a long line of contractors, and so he was self-employed um, uh, all of his life. Okay. And uh, so that came from him, and since, since I was five years old, I was out there on, on job sites, and I watched him work. And, and he was like a one-man show, and, and, you know, he would be, he, he would... Uh, build a, the mental pictures of what he could create, uh, you know, for, for, for his customers. And so I, so I watched him very closely and uh, very creative. Um, at the same time, my mom, who was just uh, uh, all about work ethic and, and, and uh, you know, just gave me that, that uh, you know, the morals and the ethics and the, uh, all those things, you know, uh, was raised, you know, taught me how to, you know, believe in, in God and, and, and to make him first in my life. And so... I was really blessed with, with wonderful parents, and, and, and at the same time, um, you know, they, they, they taught me, uh, you know, that I could basically accomplish whatever I wanted. And so uh, those, you know, I, a lot of people may not experience that, but uh, I was fortunate enough to have both in my mom and my dad, um, you know, not, not all of it, but, but, uh, but, but, you know, enough of that entrepreneurial spirit, uh, entrepreneur spirit that uh, just drives me today. So, I, you know, I've watched you now quite a bit. I mean, from the very first time that we talked on the phone, the humility and just the way you communicated with me and you made me feel comfortable with who I am and, and, and obviously you've edified me to a, a pretty incredible point. But besides that, I mean, you seem to be quite comfortable with people. Where did that come from? Well, you know, it's kind of like I have this philosophy. You've got to be a chameleon. I uh, actually agree with that, by the you, way. You've got to be able to adapt uh, to, to, to different situations, different environments, and, and, and also to people. And, um, you know, when, uh, I'll give you a perfect example. Um, I was in the education field for, for, for a long time and uh, private colleges. And, 
and I was a counselor at one of these colleges, and you know, it didn't matter who came uh, or, or what, the, what their background was, there was always a line of questioning that was perfect for each individual person, but it would all, all would fit within a mold of, well, yes, you're here, but the question is, why aren't you here yet? So it didn't matter how... But, but how, how does that convey into the, the, um, the Danny that I know in terms of your ability to communicate, make people feel comfortable? Um, I mean, you, listen, I know that you're a leader of thousands of people. I know that for a fact. That doesn't happen by action. Something, something, something has to happen inside you internally to allow you the, or give you the strength or the courage to be able to communicate so effectively. Well, you know, the, you know, since I'm caring about people, but, uh, you know, there's so many different types of people out there. So you have to be a student of people. And you have to, be, you have to understand. I don't want to get too technical because obviously the question is, um, you know, what makes me tick? But really... It's being very observant to, to, to different things that the average person may not be in tune with. And, and by that, I'm talking about uh, understanding body language, understanding um, what people say, how they say it. Uh, Have you been skilled? I mean, uh, uh, schooled on this? Uh, well, self-taught most of it. And I think a lot of it has just been blessed by the Lord, you know, that uh, has uh, been, you know, given me the ability to perceive those things. But, you know, NLP, neurological, uh, uh, neuro-linguistic programming and uh, body language. and, and So, and so you have to, been through some schooling. I, uh, I'm going to be, I, I actually, it's all been self-taught, Jim. I'm, I, I read a lot. And everything that you really want to find out in this world, you can find in a book. And so right. I'm an avid reader. Uh, you know, before so this then, interview, so I, was also, I was out there in front of I was out there in front of this uh, bookcase and I was reading your book. So, you know, it, you know I, I, I'm just constantly learning from all these uh, wonderful mentors that, that, you know, just pick up a book and you're going to find everything that you want to learn about people. Well, I asked that for a reason, and, and you actually answered it the way I was hoping you'd answer it. You are schooled. I mean, even though you didn't go to a school per se, you took the effort and the time to, to study people and to, to read from books, to get the education, to learn how to develop these skills that have really taken you a long way in your life. Well, you know, it's, uh, like I said before, you know, the glory is to God first. I've been very blessed, very fortunate. But yes, uh, to understand temperaments, to understand personality types, uh, you know, all of that is important uh, in trying to relate to people because we are in the people business. Mm -hmm. um, and we need to understand um, that one, one size does not fit all. And you have to just be willing uh, to not to be one dimensional, but to be able to be a chameleon, yep. you know, and, and, uh, and find what's going to work. And, and if my message is important and it's strong, uh, but I can't deliver it because there's, you know, there's going to be this wall because I'm not going to be able to relate to this person. I got to find a way to break through that wall, and uh, and that's what all of that's about. Well, I think that's fantastic. And I want, uh, obviously, the point of this interview, this very brief interview, was to find out who you were and and what makes you tick. And obviously, we learned a lot about your beautiful family. And and I I know his wife; she's awesome. She tells him what to do. But anyway, um, I want to thank you for taking the time to be a part of this. And I believe that the viewers are going to really appreciate knowing you a little bit more. And, um, and that's really what it's all about. It's just, you know, getting inside of people and, and really discovering who they are and, and why we should know them and become their friend. Thank you. Well, thank you very much for having me, Jim. Appreciate it.